Only 22. Only 22, yeah. Uh, uh, do I look 22? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Mitch, you just come onto your stand, Sunview. It's a, it's a lovely, impressive stand. Tell us about your business. Tell us about your business. Tell us about your business and why you're here at the IPA Global Projects and Floral Show 2023. Why, why, why? Excellent. Thank, thanks for the question. And thanks for the compliment on the booth. It's a brand yeah, new booth this year. Okay. Yeah. So we've, we've tried to change the design a little bit, you know, make it a little bit more earthy, a little bit more farmy. Well done. And we're excited to just kind of put all the grapes out in different retail sets. And we've been having a fantastic following retailers coming in, talking about how to set the set their uh, modulars and look at it, see how they can possibly sell more grapes okay. and get out there. We've got a ton of new varieties. Have you? Okay. We've got a brand new, excuse me, we've got a brand new that's raisin package. Oh, love it. Oh, that's so cool. you, can oh, see that's all, great. you can see all the jumbo raisins in there. Oh, excellent. And, you know, basically, if you, if you look at our raisins versus a standard raisin, you're talking about 150% bigger. Wow. So wow. it's a big, big difference. Anybody okay. that tries those raisins, they can't stop eating them. So, okay. so it's a very exciting time for us. Okay, and your market, who, who are you selling to, if that's okay, Charles? We're a global marketing firm. So we're really? going to 40 different countries. We're going across the US, all the regions, um, Canada, Mexico, South America, Asia, um, New Zealand, Australia, even a little bit in Europe. So even Iceland, we had dinner last night. A big group of us had a, had a big dinner with Iceland folks last night. It was okay. awesome. Okay. And, and success. What does success look like um, in the respect of uh, being at this show, where you want the business to go? Where, 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 are you look, where are you looking to go three years, five years down the line? Well, you know what, actually, it's funny you say that. So what we're trying to really do is figure out what is the consumer going to need yeah, in well five done. to eight years from now, because it takes us, it takes us yeah. a while to develop a new variety. And then once we decide on that variety, it takes us another five years just to get it to yeah. commercial production. Yeah. So we've got like an eight to 10 year horizon right now okay. and trying to figure out what is it the consumer is gonna need next. Okay. And so it's interesting that you say about the consumer, uh, are you collaborating with your customers as well? Absolutely, so because, absolutely. Because you want a win-win, don't you? you you, you all want what the consumer wants, yep. but you don't know what the consumer wants, but you've got to work with, with your customer. Well, to I mean, here, here's the dirty little secret, right? Our customers are actually our salespeople. They're the ones that are out there selling our yeah. product to whoever their customer is, right? Yeah. So we have to be in touch with them. Yeah. It's yeah. got to be a collaborative sales effort. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we're just the facilitators, you know, get the product out, the supply chain and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really interesting question in one of the um, uh, uh, speeches uh, uh, upstairs early in the week. What excites you about the future and what, what worries you? What keeps you awake at night? So what excites you? What worries you? So, again, a little peek behind the curtains. I just, I had some college students shadowing me this, this last couple of days and I was asking them the same thing. And they asked me the same exact yeah, question, right? Okay. But their energy on technology yeah. and their energy on doing something different and kind of changing the old school thought process yeah. is, is electric, right? Yeah. And I think that's what's really exciting for me. Yeah. And I think it's exciting for our companies. We're starting to try to do things yeah. different. Yeah. We're not just doing it the same old way and yeah. expecting something different. And I'm sure you, you know this. There's a lot of talk about um, AI and, and not just uh, uh, ChatGP. Now, yeah. that's the varietal um, element of grapes uh, could be vastly accelerated by using uh, artificial intelligence to speed up that whole, whole process. So that might enable you to get to market quicker with a proven product. Yes, and, th and that's what's fun about this industry, right? There's a balance though. Yeah. You know, the dirt is still the dirt, the weather's still the weather. Yeah. It yeah. still takes boots on the ground, getting your hands dirty to figure stuff out. Yeah. So I, I think that we have a fun opportunity in balancing that new technology and that AI. Yeah. But the foundation of kind of some of the old rules yeah, yeah, yeah. and making sure and those instincts and that institutional knowledge are still there and they kind of balance everything yeah, yeah, yeah. out, right? Yeah. It's a little bit of a romantic flair to it. Yeah. Yeah. But you're excited, you're positive. I hope so. <laughs> and hence the, the beautiful new stand. That's right. If I, I mean, if we weren't excited, then what are we going to be doing in yeah, this yeah. business? Yeah. You know, we'd be, especially in California, it'd be pretty depressing. Yeah, it's it's a challenge in California yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so to wrap up, love yeah. this question. What's your favorite fresh produce? Oh, I love grapes, obviously. Okay. Okay. Go on, variety. Yeah. Var var variety, oh, exciting. Our, our sparkle grape. Okay. Usually, it's in late July through September. Okay. You can't beat it. Really? Can't beat it. Okay. Sparkle grape. Let's go for it, Mitch. Well done. You're brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.